Welcome back to the vlog guys once again. Today is now Friday, start of the weekend. You haven't saw yesterday's vlog guys, the link for it is in the description below where we got our new Liverpool shirts yesterday. Thanks to Liverpool and Nike. So we want to check it out. Plus we'll have a trip to Belfast as well. It was a fun day. Video link is in the description. Anyway guys, yesterday is now Friday, start of the weekend. Sandra is gone. She's way home. And I'll see Sandra and I probably till tomorrow evening. Hello. Uh, he's in one of his big moods today again. We're about to head out here shortly, guys, to uh, Bloomfield. Comes over here to try and find a cable um, that I'm looking for for my uh, microphone that I have, one of my microphones I have. And also, got to go pick up a few other things from Tesco's and stuff like that there because I haven't been to the shop probably a couple of days. So you get like milk and bread and bits and bobs for the house. So, anyway, excuse me, I'm very tired today. Ugh. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to start off today's vlog by showing you. Um, I'll obviously show you and let me hear uh, myself as I said in this vlog on Radio Ulster. I got a call yesterday um, from Radio Ulster asking to be on the, the, uh, one of their shows where we talk about the school, schools returning here in Northern Ireland. Um, where they're talking about social distancing for kids and school kids getting back into school and wearing masks and stuff like that. There's a few announcements made over the last 24 hours or so. Um, but then today, this morning, early this morning, they gave me another call and asked me to come back on another show today. So it was on Radio Ulster twice, guys. So um, I want to go here and grab a shower and I want to show you some footage um, from yesterday's, um, where I was talking briefly. And then today, where I was back on Radio Ulster again today as well. So yeah, Radio Ulster twice in say 24 hours. Not even 24 hours, I'd say maybe a 18 hour period maybe. Um, just want to get my views on that there, obviously with my kids come back to school and obviously get my views on it. Um, I, I still have a few concerns in relation to Burke and stuff, so, um, but yeah, I'll let you hear that guys. I'm way here to grab a shower, get changed, because I've been flat out all morning so I have, and I'm not going to get a bit of time, so I've got to go out here with Lewis. And then we're coming back, it's nice and sunny outside, we're going to cut the grass, we haven't cut the grass in about three, two weeks or so, and it's grown back right and quick, so Lewis and I are going to do a bit of gardening today as well, so. And then tonight, we're having a really nice dinner tonight as well. But we've got to go to bed already, guys, because our train, I figured, I checked out the train times for tomorrow. I don't know if you, uh, you watched yesterday's vlog or not, but we did announce yesterday we're going to Korean tomorrow. So our train leaves Bangor at 9.30 in the morning because um, the kickoff's early tomorrow in the game against Korean, uh, pre-season friendly for the welders. So we're off to Korean tomorrow. So that should be fun. Anyway, right, guys, I want to go here and grab a shower, so enjoy the footage, or listen to the footage. <laughs> It's footage, but it's audio uh, of me on Radio Ulster, and I'll see you back here shortly. So let's get this Friday's vlog started. Matthew, what do you think? Um, well, to be quite honest, I mean, with having two children, one being asthmatic, um, I would personally like to see social distance put into play, but you know yourself, with a lot of teenagers find it quite difficult to social distance, but I think if, if it was safe enough plan put into place for children to return, you know, I would be for it, but as long as I was 100% sure that my children would be safe. And again, as your previous caller said there as well, you know, with that, people at uh, places in the country popping up with, like, you know, new cases all over the place, you know, where I live, it's, it's currently okay. But again, is there a second wave on the way? But I'm a little bit concerned. But as long as there was proper procedures put into place, I would be for it. But yes. as long as social distancing but then you, in place. You, you qualified that, Matthew, by saying as long it's a hundred as long as it's a hundred percent safe. I don't think anybody can give you that sort of guarantee at the moment. No, well that's it exactly. And that's is where I'm concerned as a parent. You know, is it safe to send my daughter back who is asthmatic, you know, because she's obviously one of the ones who is obviously vulnerable to if she catches the the the, 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 uh, the COVID nineteen, it's a bit dangerous for her. But Again, it was good for kids to get back to school, but again, I would love to see them uh, uh, back at school, but to keep them safe, I would agree with social distancing have to be in play, but it would be quite difficult for a lot of teenagers. Um, I, I suppose, Matthew, you're a, a single dad, you're, you're working from home. Does that yeah. have any impact on you? I mean, getting the kids out to school will surely kind of make life easier for you in a work way. Well, it would in a way, yeah, of course, but, you know, trying to balance everything, uh, even at the start of lockdown, is quite difficult. But I think it'd be good for kids to get back to school, because a lot of kids are frustrated, you know, and a lot of kids are missing school. Most my kids are missing school too as well, but I go back to what I said previously, you know, I guess I do want to see them make my life a bit easier as well. But, again, I would have to be sure. 
sure that they would be 100 percent safe on board. Your time. Um, let's hear from uh, uh, a parent now who's got reservations uh, as far as the situation is concerned. Um, Matthew Moore is a parent of uh, two school pupils from. Banger. Uh, Matthew, thanks for getting in touch with us. Um, so, look, there's so much to cover here in this story today, isn't there? There's so many different dimensions to it, so many different aspects to it. What are your concerns uh, at, at what you are hearing and what do you think people need to be paying particular attention to today? Well, my concerns as a parent, I mean, I have to say there are two children, one being heavily asthmatic. Um, I have a very lot of concerns in relation to sending my daughter back to school. Um, but no, if there's no social distancing in place, I would be fearful of sending my daughter back to school. I, I, obviously, with chatting with her, she's very understandable that, you know, I would, uh, would ask her to wear a face mask at school. Um, and obviously, with other people in my uh, family being shielded as well, which would be a big fear for me as well. Obviously, if she happened to catch anything at school and bring it back to the family home. But again, I am a lot of concern in relation. I think that uh, social distancing should still be in place. Um, I know a lot of teenagers are finding it difficult to social distance, and a lot of them aren't social distancing. Um, I was obviously seeing my own two eyes out in the general public and stuff, yeah. but again, you know, I am very fearful as a parent to send my children back unless there is safeguards there for them to make sure that they will be kept safe at school. And Ma Matthew, if you don't get those guarantees from, from uh, the authorities, are, are you saying you, you may feel uh, compelled to keep your children at home? Is, it, is that it? Is that what you're saying? Well, it, You'd be so concerned that you, you wouldn't feel it was safe to send them to school? Yeah, I mean, it's an option that I'm looking at. You know, at the end of the day, you know, with my daughter's health being more, more important. Um, of course. And obviously with another child being in the house. And again, with another, one of my parents being one of the people who have to shield. Um, again, you know, it's a big risk factor for me to send my kids back. Again, if social distancing rules were put into place and they were adhered to, again, going back to what I said there, a lot of teenagers and, and younger ones are finding it hard to social distance. With obviously missing their friends and things like that there. But again, if I was sure that my daughter would not be safe and she'd be at risk, it would be an option not to send her to school. Yeah, okay. Matthew, it's a very difficult time for everybody. Look, appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, getting in touch with us this lunchtime. Martina. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the footage from uh, Radio Ulster. Um, but when I back home, we were right there for a little bit um, over the road there. I was called in the JD Sports and we saw to have the new Liverpool shirt on display and also the new Liverpool training jersey. Which I want to show you a wee clip of it and just a wee second what it looks like. Um, a little bit uh, not very happy with the price of it, guys, compared to last season's, which was £25. Um, and I got Lewis one last year for £20 in the Liverpool store in Liverpool. This year it's £50 for a training shirt. And that's £10 short of the last price for the home jersey, the home actual home jersey last season. This is crazy. I'll show you a wee clip of what it looks like now. Personally, I don't like the design of it. Uh, it looks nice from a distance, but when you wear it up to the way that has the wee design inside the actual part of like, when you're looking at me now here, like, see it like this here, part of the shirt and all here inside. Uh, I just don't like the design of it, but from a distance it looks okay. With the black and the red, it looks very smart, but 50 quid for a training shirt, guys, is a little bit crazy, so it is. But anyway, yes, we're home, and uh, we're right there, so we're, and now we're getting some dinner. I'm making some pulled pork tonight for Brooke and I. Lewis doesn't want pulled pork, he's being a really fuddy-duddy tonight. He's having a pasta bake for his dinner. So, um, what is it? Cheese and pasta, it's just cheese and pasta, I thought it was pasta bake. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm over really, uh, that Liverpool shirt. Let me know what do you think, guys, that Liverpool training shirt. A lot of people are complaining about it, especially the price. This is crazy. But anyway, yes, guys, it's time for some dinner. Pulled pork tonight for dinner. And then I think Lewis and I are going to go and chill out soon because we're going to bed very early tonight because we're up really early in the morning. We're up at half seven in the morning for a shower and changed and head to the train station for half nine in the morning to get the train to Coleraine. Nightmare. Right guys, I will check back in with you shortly um, to continue on with today. A lot of you have been contacting me today. I posted the Liverpool shirt video from Belfast yesterday. Um, a lot of you have been coming in today and saying that you've uh, enjoyed the vlog and stuff. Um, so thank you very much for your lovely comments, especially on Instagram. There's a lot of message requests over the last few days since we released the news that we're in the actual advert. So I'm going to be answering a lot of your questions later on tonight. So if you get a message from back from me, you know I'm talking to you. So there's quite a lot to get through. Anyway guys, I want to go excuse that noise in the background for Tom O'Dreyer. <laughs> I'll see you later on at some point after we get our dinner and get everything else sorted for today. So we continue on for this vlog for today. Well, what's the crack? Nothing.
You alright? Yeah. Really warm. That's not just. Just want to the cats up with you, you're on the floor for a bit. And you still haven't vlogged or put a video up, and I'm still being tortured by people. And shave and I'll do your makeup. I'll shave tomorrow. It on Sunday? Or you can Pause a bit sandwich. Hello guys, welcome back. We're later on the night now. And we'll take you outside in just a minute to show you my deck and finally the lights. You know what the funny thing is? See that last time I did your makeup? I couldn't do makeup. I couldn't do eyebrows. She wants to do a makeup video with think me. About it. I can do your eyebrows. I can put fake eyelashes on you. Not a I chance. Can put eyeshadow. I can do Not a chance. I'm doing it all. Not a chance. Yep, you're going to be like a drag queen. Not a chance. Right. Not a chance. <laughs> now, it's later on the night, guys. Um, we had a lovely dinner earlier on. Um, I haven't stopped. Literally, I've been up here on my laptop doing stuff and also doing stuff around the house too as well. I just have not stopped. As you can see, I'm sitting here and I haven't even put my washing away yet. I'm just sitting up here in the bed, working away. It's a cool picture of us from the vlog the other day. So yes, I'm going to take you outside here now to the decking. Uh, it's just really dark outside now. I'm going to show you my new lights. Um, it's been a funny old day today, so it has. It hasn't stopped. Um, but yeah, I'm actually starting to feel really tired. I'm going to go to bed soon, guys, because I'm really, really tired because you know we're early in the morning to go to cold rain, so i got to get to bed early. So, so right, I'm going to take you outside, so uh, see you in just a sec. I downstairs, I'm going to take you outside here in just a second, but she's sticking in my kitchen and making super noodles this time of night. Stink. Oof, stinks. Right, here is my decking, guys, now. I was going to put my chairs in all the way at the minute, so I have. And uh, I'll fold up the... Uh, well, I haven't folded the tables up with the table away with the chairs and they're all covered up, so it's pretty empty up but this is from a distance. What do you got? I'm going to take you up here now and show you. Let me see now. I feel this grass here. I'm actually in my bare feet and the grass is wet. Oh, it's horrible. I took my wee lights off the other day, so it did. So here we are. Look at this. This is actually pretty cool. Now these lights can be adjusted up and down whatever way you want. I've just basically hung them up there to show you them. But I mean it lights the whole area up. I'm thinking about getting maybe one more. Cassandra was even suggested by putting one there, one there, and one there. Which would be uh, a very good idea. Look at that sky man. It's beautiful. It's be a lovely day tomorrow apparently as well guys, which is good. But uh, yeah, these lights are pretty cool. Be even better when you get the gazebo and all put up as well. But, uh, yeah, love the lights of that sky behind me. Absolutely beautiful. So it is. But there you are, guys. There's my lights from the deck. I promise I'll show you them. So I'm going to try and race up on uh, Sunday to try and get them normal. Hopefully. Um, so I was thinking, as I said, dealer, just maybe one there, one there, and one there. And then the charge lasts for hours. Which is great. All good. Right, I'm going to turn these off here when I'm talking to you guys. I'll take it off here. This is, this is how simple it is here. Let me see. Just literally pop off. And that's it. And you can bring them into the house and charge them. So let's get this one turned off here. This pops off here. There you go. Hey. And then I can just walk around. I'm actually, it's a wee, a wee lantern as well. It has a wee handle on it. It's pretty cool. And a foot. So if you want to put it on a table. Which is all good here. I'll walk across this back grass again. Oh, the grass is soaking. Let's get back into the house here. Oh, God. My feet. There we go. Turn it off. So, this is them here, guys. They're made by Energizer, and they're really, really good. And the charge just lasts for four or five hours. This is awesome. It only takes like a half an hour to charge them. This is them here. And they come with a foot you can attach to the bottom as well. So, you want to set them on a table or patio or whatever you want to use them for. Use them as a work light, even. You can if you want. They are really, really good. So I'm just showing the guys are my lights. Here we get one more. I have one more in there, but I got it for dad. So maybe it's just steal it and grand all your reckon. Don't be great. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I'm gonna go for today now. So I wanna go upstairs now and get this vlog up before I go to bed because I'm not really early in the morning. Because Lewis and I leave Bangor tomorrow morning at 9.30. We're heading to uh Korean. And then after that, we're heading to Sandra's to help Sandra for a little bit. So tomorrow is going to be a chock -a block day. So it is. So if you enjoyed this vlog today where I appear once again on Radio Ulster twice, drop a like in this video. Also hit subscribe below. 
and until tomorrow, see you all soon. See you later on the way at some point. Yeah. Guys, she needs to start vlogging again. You need to shave your beard. I haven't got a beard, I shaved it off the other day. Harass her on Instagram. Brooke Moore YouTube and Brooke Moore. DM her and tell her Matthew sent you to torture her to get more vlogs done. No, please don't. Torture him to get his beard shaved. Tell him. I will make you a deal. If you let me put fake eyelashes on you, I will vlog for a whole week. You can kiss my ass. Ain't gonna happen. This happened. Big dramatic ones. I got these no. big dramatic ones. I'll put them on. Never gonna happen. Oh, it's happening. It dies. You gotta go bombard him. Thanks for subscribing, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.